So one thing you'll often be asked to do is figure out what the explicit formula is by looking at a pattern of numbers. And we're told that this is, um, we're told that this is a sequence. It should say arithmetic sequence, but whatever. Uh, so we've got an arithmetic sequence of some numbers here. We need a formula uh, to figure out what the nth term is, right? That's the explicit formula they're talking about here. So what's the pattern? Well, just look at the numbers and, you know, big hint, this is an arithmetic sequences unit, so there's going to be an arithmetic pattern. Uh, how much do we go up? That's what this is asking. What's the amount we go up in each of these numbers? And I think, you know, it, it, let's just be really clear about it. So when we get to a more complicated one, we know how to do it. What you do to find the difference is you use the recursive formula. And you'll get to a point where you, you won't need to use the, the uh, recursive formula. But for now, you know, just bear with me. We say a n, that's any term, equals the term before it minus d. No, plus d. Okay, so any term is equal to the term before it plus d. So let's just pick uh, term 2. a2 equals, what's the term before a2? Well, that's a1 plus d. And now go over to your sequence. So a2 is 24. Uh, a1 is 13. And now we can just solve this and figure out what d is, right? Super easy. So we just subtract 13 from each side. We get 11 equals d. Now, that's not our explicit formula. We're not done yet. That's just how we find the difference. And as these sequences get more complicated, we'll still go through the same method every time. So now let's take a look at our explicit formula and see what we need. A n, that's, that's always going to be on one side. It's just a n equals a 1 plus n minus 1 times d. Okay, in this case, d is 11. But we also know that a 1 is 13. So let's write those out. A n equals 13 plus n minus 1 times 11. Now, if you wanted, you could leave it like this. Most people don't, just because it doesn't look very pretty. We could do a little more to rearrange this thing, say 11n minus 11, and then just combine some terms. And we're going to call this formula a n equals 11n plus 2. Okay, that is the simplified version uh, without any of the parentheses. So, that's what I would call the explicit formula for the sequence. If you want, you can leave it in that term. That's still a correct answer. Um, 